Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Now, Cataclysm, not a great expansion, not by any stretch of the imagination. However, it is an expansion I do tend to look at rather sympathetically, and I try and defend wherever I can. And the reason why is, there is a lot of genuine hard work that went into this expansion. It's not a Warlords of Draenor, which was a pure exercise in complacency, laziness and contempt for your community. The world itself got completely revamped, lots of physical changes, all the quests from level 1 to 60 got pretty much changed, switched up, all the reward system got redone, and then of course you had the 80 to 85 content in Azeroth, which was part of Cataclysm. But unfortunately, all these changes and tweaks and whatnot came at the cost of the end game, and that was left really, really wanting indeed. And then we don't have to really go into the fact that we have the dubbing down of everything. And this is okay. Let's just go on to something that I absolutely, in no capacity, can defend about Cataclysm something that broke my wee little heart. And you're seeing it on the screen right now the destruction of South Shore and the end of the Taran Mill versus South Shore pitch battles. One of the very few organic world mass on mass PvP events that happened. And that was pure community driven. So today we're going to relive those glory days as we look back on the old South Shore and Taran Mill. So I'm going to change to what I normally do, which is compare the new version to the old version. I'm actually going to recount some of my feelings about the Taran Mill versus South Shore experience. I mean, for one, it was very easy to see post-Cataclysm why it fell apart. I mean, the whole reason why Taran Mill and South Shore was such a great organic PvP event was you had these two vulnerable towns. They were both vulnerable. Taran Mill was slightly separated away from the Horde and South Shore was completely separated from the Alliance. And they had quests. They had NPCs. They had an inn. They had a town hall. They had all these things worth defending. There was a community there. And so if you saw in your local defense chat that Taran Mill was under attack or South Shore was under attack, then I certainly, in my experience, I immediately jumped onto that flight path, flew over from the Undercity down to Taran Mill, because in this day and age, I was a horde for four years, and then knuckled down and started to join in the fun. The Alliance, of course, would no doubt fly over from Ironforge the majority of the time to join into this fun. But one of the beauties about this PvP experience is it was never conditioned to just be for top level people. It didn't matter what your level was. You could be level 25, 35, 42, 56. It was absolutely irrelevant. When you saw the call to duty, when you heard the cry of battle, you just went there and you helped out. And the reason why you helped out is because there were so many people fighting. And it wasn't an an animosity there. It didn't feel any hatred towards the other side. In actual fact, you just had this beaming smile on your face and you could almost imagine the person on the opposite side also having a big beaming smile on their faces because we both understood the value of this PvP battle. And not only that, the complete seesaw nature of it was amazing. The Alliance would push forward and back the Horde up in Taran Mill. And then, of course, not only did Taran Mill have the ability to regroup quickly when they died, but they had the added extra of the stronger NPC guards to help them. And then you would push them back. And before you knew it, you were outside the gates of South Shore doing exactly the same. And in some of those occasions, those lucky occasions, you managed to overrun the graveyards, knock out the guards, and then the NPCs were at your mercy. This was the most savage, the most fun, 
and on top of everything, the most beautifully community-created organic PvP experience the World of Warcraft, in my eyes, has ever produced, and it's never, never been able to be recreated in this natural environment that is Taran Mill versus South Shore. But if it's just the aesthetic of South Shore that you really loved, you can get a little bit of satisfaction by going to the Caverns of Time, of course, and seeing it there. But, you know, you're never going to recreate that pitch battle until Classic WoW comes around. God, I just get myself more and more excited by the day. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming links. They're in the description down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care everybody. Bye for now.